optimizing our ICA protocol. So any traditional Citrix customers on the phone or anybody that's familiar with Citrix, this is all about our protocol, how we've built it to be as fast as possible, even over slower connections. And when you think about Zen Desktop, really all we've done at the highest level is taken all that technology and all that development for 20 years and allowed you to get to a full client desktop as well as just another option. So if you can think about it in that terms, that will kind of give you a better perspective on what Citrix is or Zen Desktop is for desktop virtualization. And, and then we can go into a little bit more detail here. So let me move along. So here is a very, very important piece of the puzzle. So on the left, you have today, if you put all those components together, on the bottom you have, I know it's kind of hard to see, you have hardware, then you have the desktop operating system, then you have apps, then you have preferences, then you have the user. So in every organization, every PC has those five components. You add those up, you have to figure out a way to make them all work together because they're all tightly coupled together. So you install the OS into the hardware, you install the apps into the OS, then the preferences and the user data goes on top of all that, and that's a PC. So there's five components there. So if you have a 1,000 desktops in your environment, theoretically you have 5,000 different components or more that you have to manage on every PC in your environment. So the whole idea behind desktop virtualization is trying to simplify that and make your life easier in IT and make your IT staff much more efficient to be able to deliver that same experience that you're doing today, but get that from down to 5,000 components that you're managing down to a much more manageable 1,000, 1,500, whatever the number is in your organization. But if you can get it down to 1,000 hardware devices, then move the, the data into the, the environment. Give you one instance of your, your desktop OS here on the right. If you have an OS that you manage for everybody or a couple OSs that you to manage, it becomes much, much easier than managing a thousand of them. Then your applications, if you're able to move those off the desk and off the operating system and virtualize those with our Zenapp technology, you're able to have one instance of your application and deliver that to all your users. Then the, a very key component, component as well is the preferences. I get asked this question a lot. You know, if the users know that desktop, it's under their desk, it's theirs, they can put their background on it, it's been theirs for a long time, they like it. If you need to be able to deliver that same kind of experience to a virtual desktop that you do there, so the users don't see much of a change. And with the way you do that is this preferences up here on the top on the right. You have, that's the user profile, that's their background, how they interact with the applications, just the personalization that they need for their desktop to make it theirs. And basically what happens is we're going to bring that into the data center and centralize it and virtualize that as well. When I log in, I bring in, I bring the desktop OS, I bring the applications, and the preferences, that profile, build those together on demand to deliver my desktop to me as Drew. So when I log in, I'm going to get the Windows 7 OS that's for me. I'm going to get the applications that I need in the, my department. If I'm in finance, I'm going to get the finance applications. And then finally, I get the preferences, which is my kids' pictures and, and all that good stuff, and how I interact with my applications and my OS all built to give me my desktop that I need and to do my job. So Zen Desktop, it's won a lot of awards, just real quick, and then we're going to jump into um, a demo, and I'll, I'll give you some highlights on what uh, is coming out with, with Zen Desktop 5 really quickly. So these are some of the awards we've done. We're doing a lot of business with the Zen Desktop. We're making a lot of traction. Uh, but these are, obviously, as you can see, we've won a lot of awards because our technology, I feel I'm a little biased, but you can see that the industry is kind of validating that this is the best solution for desktop virtualization as well, just because of all the flexibility 
the end user experience, all the benefits that, that it brings. So here's kind of some of a little bit of highlights on what, how Citrix has been doing in the field. You can see that this is widely deployed. We have 100 plus customers with 1,000 plus seats deployed already. So this is not bleeding edge technology by any means anymore. We have 4 million licenses out there. Um, a lot of that is people converting their licenses from Zen App or Presentation Server traditional Citrix over to Zen Desktop to get take advantage of the additional technology and additional features. We've got a lot of programs now that enable that conversion process to happen. You can uh, a lot of flexibility there. If you're tr just using application virtualization today, we can convert you and add desktop virtualization to this as well. Um, so we are, by Gartner's estimate, estimations and other people in the uh, industry analysts, we're definitely the number one market share leader out there for desktop virtualization. So Zen Desktop 5, really quick. I'm not going to touch on too much of this stuff, but see there's some of the newer features that are coming out. Um, so here we have a, a feature called Zen Vault. And this is really all primarily about securing the data out on physical PCs or bring your own computer type initiatives. So it's a, it's, you're running, we're going to run Office out locally on that device. And what it's going to do is we're actually going to install the Zen Vault. It's part of the, the Citrix receiver. Install that. And what it's going to do is create basically a encrypted folder or kind of partition on the device where anytime you deliver, utilize PowerPoint or Word that you've delivered to them on demand out to their, their device, it's going to be saved in that file, in that folder, I should say. So you can see here, um, it's all encrypted. There are special files so that we, we know. But the main main thing for it is we can remotely wipe it out if something happens, the user leaves the company or the laptop stolen, we can actually terminate that and kill wipe it all out. It's encrypted first and foremost, but we can wipe that out remotely to ensure that you don't have any data loss. Kind of interesting for uh, some of the mobile workers or um, in your environment. So these are HDX Nitro technology. So this is marketing terms for some of the things that we've been doing against around the user experience. So you can tell them these are our project name, product project names, excuse me. But the main thing here is about performance for the end user. So project Mark, Mach 3 there first is optimization of the ICA protocol to make the performance that much better remotely as well as in the office. Uh, Project Zoom is instant app launch. I know if you guys are traditional Citrix customers, it, it takes a little weird while for the applications to come up sometimes. So that's going to take care of that. They'll come up instantly and kind of load everything in the background. Um, faster printing. We have uh, more WAN optimization, speeds and efficiency, and then adaptive sense and, sense and respond rendering based on where the bandwidth is and what kind of machine you're coming from. What, how do we leverage your environment to give you the best experience? Do we render things locally on your device? Do we do things in the data center? That kind of thing. So you don't have to make those decisions. The users don't either. It'll do it automatically based on settings that you have set up. Um, Zen Client is a new, new feature. It's been out a little bit. I'll just touch on it real quick. But basically, it's a hypervisor that goes on the laptop itself. So for your mobile users, this is a way to actually give them a virtual machine that you can keep updated very easily using the synchronizer. And what the synchronizer does is kind of keeps a local copy in your data center of that virtual machine. Anytime you make an update centrally to that, it will synchronize with that uh, the Zen client out there in the field and push those patches down so you don't have to worry about um, patching them manually. You can do it in one central location. 